Dave Ham and welcome back. This is Ias Trollin. And we are in our mega campaign. Currently in EU4. And I'm about to sneeze. Ah, oh, what a good sneeze. It's been so long since I played this. I feel like we're doing horrible compared to the CK3 campaign. Uh, it's been about 40 years though. And we're already colonizing Americas. I'm curious how this is all going to shape up over here. My biggest concern is Lothgaria, though. I know we're allies with them. But... They're strong. Very, very strong. Just don't see like Sorbia. They're not even rivals to them. That's fantastic. Ah, that's how we see the great power rank. We outrank them. That's surprising. That's really surprising. Uh, we're only one. Wow. We stopped at the beginning of the year. That is, I didn't even mean to do that. That's fantastic. We're going to take the text now. Because it's only 5% penalty for him. So I'm not too worried about that. And then the next thing we're going to do is go through our buildings for our production. We want to, ooh, get production buildings built so we can make some more money. Is that monthly or yearly? Okay, it is monthly. <clears throat> and we're out of money. Then after that, we're going to build our uh, Manpower, we need to put one of those in pretty much every city because we need more manpower badly. We really don't need this fort here. Eh, it's not that bad of an area, but yeah, it's just a waste of money, honestly. Um, why is that one red still? Shouldn't it be mothballed? How do I unmothball it? Activate all forts. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave that one. They're just chilling there, so I'm not sure exactly what to do with them. Well, once our manpower recovers, we're going to go to war for these territories up here. Give them to our vassal, which we should be able to integrate. <laughs> I'm surprised they are calling me to war. Considering Savoy is so small, and so is Barcelona, I don't know why they needed to call me to war for that. But okay. Oh, Italy's at war against them. <clears throat> is this... They're defending against them too, so they're trying to move into, uh... Hmm. 
that would make things interesting because then we'd have the Sunnis. I think that's what their religion. Yeah, the Sunnis. Even further into mainland. Uh, mainland. Um, Europe. Uh, is there any really other good spots? There's one I see. Two, three, okay. One, two. Making good money too, somehow. Probably because we don't have that many troops. Oh, and we're finishing up all those, so that's really boosting our, uh... Atlantic South Coast. It's all down there. I think we're going to take expansionists next. Even though we probably should take like quality. Nothing too big on the tax modifiers, so how about some trade modifiers? Let's see. Plus four. Oh, eight of it's being pulled out to the English channel. That's no good. I think main power is still my priority. Look at that, 2,500 extra manpower. And a thousand there, and two thousand there. And I wish we could uh, rival Alba. But we can't, so... build we could already build docks so I don't know why that made a difference uh, we want 2,000 more manpower and then a thousand there thousand six hundred there most of these other ones don't really a thousand there I have too much on it so Anything, well, most of our core here does. Okay, we need to start saving up now for our next army. Yeah, see, I don't know why they needed us for this war. We can never have too much manpower, that is correct. The Uncor Nov Neva and Novgrad. I 
Are they still under Union? Ah, and they're integrating them while also taking more territory. Garia entered the Golden Age. We will definitely want the Caribbean. I didn't even take the territory. Hey! You get nine of the ducats. I guess I did take some land, I don't know, honestly. It doesn't look like it, so I'm not sure why they went to war there. Where are their troops at? Unless they released Upper Burgundy? No? I don't know what that war was about. No clue. So we want to then two, three, whoop, oh, five, six, okay. And then that will bring our forces up to 71 out of 74, so we can just add one cavalry more to each army. Okay, so we don't have to pay root out we don't continuously pay root out corruptions, it's just whenever we're actually doing it. Good to know. How is our navy looking at force limit? Okay. See they are allied with them, who is allied with them, them and them. Hmm. How is our aggressive expansion? It's pretty high still. Completely forgot we can develop land this way too. Thousand manpower there, I think, is our next one. I think the reason why these are all low is because they're not states yet. I'm gonna read through these really fast. Probably end up doing centralized mo uh, monarchical bureaucracy.
centralizing estate will refund 50% of its cost. Oh, never mind. That's a different than creating a state. Okay. And let's re reevaluate. We'll probably do this one. No. might just do regional councils. The centralizing a state do though. state governing cost negative 20 state maintenance negative 20 so is this what the governing pat cost is I'm not sure Send them there. And you guys over there. You guys can go there. Well, why do we break our alliance with them? Because they rivaled us. Okay. That's fantastic. I really wanted them to rival us. I guess we will uh, change our rivals then. Still have a royal marriage with them though, unfortunately. You need to start improving relations with them. They might be able to probably will get an alliance with them. Five 
hundred is on average now. I don't know if it's worth spending it for that. I think we'll start working on trade power. anything above the, oh I forgot to do that one that probably is really important Oh, they renamed themselves. They are now the Andosulia. somewhere and I don't know where up there nope yeah nowhere really uh, more trade power six point five and then I guess there, up there, and there. Well, we are no longer rivals with Sorbia. Or they, yeah. Cool. So I can't even ally them. Can I not be rivals? I was like, I only have two, so I don't know if I'll get the... They just announced me as a rival, so I can just rival them right back, I guess. God damn it. Well, I'll spend it. Come on, I want to click on the state, not the country. They produce grain. We'll just do the base production for them. All 
army up there first. Put a leader in charge of it. A shit leader. Oops. They didn't get there in time. Since everything kind of just like pours into the Caribbean, I feel like that's going to be a really strong spot for us. So I want to start taking some of the areas here. Let's see what do we got for... Well, I'll do Jamaica first. against Italy but they're winning that's unfortunate cool Actually, we should um, focus on that. Turn the chip around and go back there. Recall. Natural Harbor probably would be good. I'm gonna free colonists once we get that, so that's why I want to do that. Hmm. Well, take him. Of course, we'll take the stability. It's a lot of monarch part points. Hopefully, they get a coalition against them from taking that land. We'll take the aggressive expansion impact. Still got about. 120 years to go before the next age. Near max monarch points. It just means spend them somewhere. Like here. Holy crap. Why is that so expensive? Forest development. It's the forest.
interesting. And Estonia just blew up. Why did they have to rival us? We are such a, we just helped them in a war. Helped them in a war. Such good friends, and then all of a sudden. Ooh. Awesome. Alright, so we need clergy. Want us to build a temple there. Once that's done, oh, we can, hmm, what's their base setting, right? 46, so, unfortunately, they're going to get mad anyway, but better now than never, I don't know. Come on, clergy, really? Shit, there's one over there. Yeah, I don't even know how to do trade league still. It's not that big of a deal. Take that manpower. Uh, of course we're going to gain one stability. And then lose that. Promptly lose it. Take, then we can repay that loan. One yearly tax income. So we'd make a total of 10 ducats off that. No. Ooh. 
Estonia just declared war on Karelia. I'm just trying to recover my manpower so then we can go back to war. Because currently we don't have the manpower. Do I just... He's just a regency. He's so shit. So shit. Oh, what the hell? Really? Oh, Italy got broken up, so perfect. It's pretty much just Logadian and Sorbia now. Both greedy, yeah. Colonial regions on there too. Uh -oh. There you Halfway to fully recover manpower. Well, I 
I think it's time. Can't declare war while we have a fucking regency. So we gotta wait five, six years, seven years. Cool. Well, I guess we'll just recover our main power that through that time. Italy has been taken out pretty much. Yeah, they should have coalition against them now. Nope. Free admin. Yeah, they passed us back up, figured they would. I don't want to lose that stability. I'd rather lose the money. Oh, I never sent the colonist out there. I thought I did. No. <laughs> you need to enact that governing capacity. That'll make a big difference, I think. We have enough crown lands to do that for each one. We can make, yeah, I wanted to make that a state. And that a state. But. No, 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 no. The hell? Did that happen? I guess we should Holstein probably do Iceland. Doesn't want me to add. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can't add those two as states or anything. Question though is that at those estates, has it done anything? Ah, the tick had to happen for it too. Oh, okay. So we just increased our force limits by a large portion by doing that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> question is what's more important mm, probably building the stuff for money Hmm, base manpower. Or global tariffs. I don't know what global tariff tariffs do, so... I'm not worried about base manpower, so we'll just do that and see what happens. Hmm. Definitely want base taxes. Takes like... What would that be? Seven and a half years to form those colonies now? Well, they're going to be pissed, and it's not like I can afford, afford it, so whatever. Let's see, we're five years ahead of time, but that's cannons. So, well, we can't declare war anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. We might as well just wait.
Best global tariffs it is. We're going to have to go to Oregon's Estonia. I mean, we were going to have to anyway, but now that they've taken parts of Karelia, which we need, definitely going to have to take them out. <clears throat> Annoyed. You guys produce grain. higher taxes. There's no reason to seize it. I don't think there's really any... Ah, uh, that actually might be worthwhile native assimilation. This might be worthwhile. I don't know how much our colonies are costing us right now, though. 18 ducats. Not too much. It's not. We have, we're making plenty of money. I'm not worried about that. Because even with them, we're still making 31 ducats. So, not a big deal.
Ah, three coins short. Where is it? Over here? Damn. Calvary of armies. What a ratio, what is our ratio? Probably. Uh, I don't know how to check that. There it is. 70%. What? That seems like a really high ratio. So I can have... 7 cavalry and 3 infantry? What? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't seem right. <sighs> I think we are going to go with uh, quality next. We don't need expansion. At least not yet. Alright, we need to start saving up to, and build that second army. Or that, that next army. And get our cannons involved too. It just ticked over, so I can let it tick one more year. Probably can actually wait all the Well, I don't know. How do we have 20, 20? I don't even know how we have 21 there because we're not, we don't have any ships. Government reform. I just don't know which one to really go with. I'm going to do some research, and we'll start the next episode with uh, choosing our reform. You guys have a nice one. Peace out.